Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on school management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java ID. You can choose any ID of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here's my main method. I am creating an object of school class. It is a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, click on new, click on swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. This form will get created along with the .java file for the code. These are the text fields that I have provided. This is the combo box, text field again, this is the combo box, this is the table. Uh, do uh, do not forget to add the table under the scroll pane okay these are the buttons add button and the update button and name this panel as school panel let's move on to the code this is the class school class and these fields will get automatically added once you design the interface and then this is the jframe object jframe class and creating an object of jframe class and this is my constructor these are the lines which you will require to display the panel once you made the uh, once uh, whenever you create the object of school class okay this is the table data method which will be used for displaying the data into the table j table and uh, let's create the listeners of these right click over here click on create listener this is the listener and uh, this is the functionality of it so what i'm doing here is checking if the fields that i have provided if it's null or not if they're null then uh, pop up the message please fill all the records to add and if not then this is my query so with working with if you are working with prepare statement then this syntax you need to follow okay over here and then finally building the connection, passing the URL, the username, password and the database name and uh, then using the set int if the pa uh, parameter is integer and string if the parameter is string. So first the ID, okay, I am uh, inputting the ID, then the name, then teacher, then qualification and experience. So converting it accordingly. It, all the text that you enter in the text field is in the form of integer uh, sorry string so I'm converting into integer then this I am accepting as string again the get selected item will be of uh, type string and this is of also of type string and this will get converted into integer okay then uh, uh, updating it through this method execute update and then popping the message item added successfully and these are the fields uh, okay these fields these fields uh, will be set to null after the addition of the data and then displaying it again whatever uh, gets updated into the table okay similarly this is the uh, another button update button so uh, this is another query which i am running it under the prepared statement yeah you can add any query like if you want to set the name you can use it here and if you just want to use the subject teacher change the subject teacher then you can use your query accordingly so this is the and prepare statement to run the query then this method to update the database and then finally popping the message updated successfully okay and then uh, again calling the method table data to get the updated data into the table uh, i have created a mouse listener over here okay you can create one uh, by going over to the table right click over here click on create listener I have already created one okay this table create listener go to mouse listener okay 
so mouse listener i'm just uh, first accepting the model in the form of default table model storing it in the variable dm and this is the uh, code to get the row row index then i am setting the text to uh, dm dot get value add this will uh, require uh, two parameters which is the index and which column you want to update uh, not update which column you have selected so okay over here in this field i have uh, the id in the first column so zero with index name in the first index and uh, qualification in the third one okay then pass the value to pass the value and convert it into string okay then this is the table data method this is the query which i am running it and storing the result in the result set okay uh, and using the set model to set the model and uh, this is the method which i have created on my own but instead of this you can use dbutils dot uh, result set to table model and then pass your result set over here okay and then uh, catching the error if there is any that's it so let's run the program okay uh, i have already added one so let's add another record okay it gets added and uh, if you want to update it okay select it suppose we want to update the subject okay okay see it's get uh, updated this is it thanks for watching i hope you understand the working of the code subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas